Hello, my name's Stephen Taylor, and in 2016, I bought a derelict shop for £26,000 at auction. This is my story. So I've been a joiner for 20 years and I've just spent the last five years renovating this building. I did as much work as possible myself to save money and in this video I'd like to show you the highlights of the building process. So the building is in the UK in Birkenhead which is my hometown and it is about a 10 minute walk away from the River Mersey and views over to Liverpool city centre. So the first job was to clear all the mess out which took a long time and, uh, and then I got some plans drawn up. So it's a bit of an unusual layout because the main living areas are on the first floor rather than the ground floor. Now believe it or not, when I bought this property I didn't get a structural report beforehand. Uh, which yeah, I know is brave. But brave or stupid. But anyway, once I got the report, he said there. Uh, he had some good news for me, he said the good news is you don't have to knock the building down, the bad news is you have to take the front of the building off and completely rebuild it because it's about to fall down. So that was the next job. At this point, I was a couple of years into the project, um, and I'd, I took a week off work for my birthday, and did what every good builder does on his week off, which is do more work. Um, which is, you know, because it's the only time you get. Um, so I decided on my birthday week to take the roof off. Yeah, that was an interesting week, especially on my own. I should definitely have got a labourer for this bit. It's funny watching this back a couple of years later now that I'm actually living in the house because uh, let me tell you what was going through my mind at that point. I was just thinking, oh my god, I'm in trouble here. What a mess. And uh, I was going home and uh, I was wondering whether it was still going to be standing the next day because there didn't seem to be much holding the building up. It was, uh, it was scary stuff to be honest with you, but yeah, I got through it in the end, so uh, yeah, it's all good. So 
once I cleared all the mess up, which took quite a while, I uh, decided to get the drone up in the air and get some get some shots from above, so you can get an idea of the scale of it and uh, yeah, get a good view of the building. So as you can see at this point, the front the front wall has been rebuilt um, and it's all been pointed. I've boarded up the windows because people kept trying to break in. And uh, yeah, but I was making good progress. Once the roof was completed and the building was safe and secure, I started to devote my time to working on things inside the building. One of the first jobs was moving the old tank, getting the old tank down to ground floor level to get rid of it. So this was done before the new floor joists went in. See the windows were already in at this point. I don't think I got much footage of that. I was just too busy just trying to get everything done. And so then after that, we moved on to things like stud walls, new ceilings, um, any uh, flooring, any other bits and bobs like that. Thank you. 
then got a local company to fit some new shutters for me. There's more I need to tell you about this part of the building, but I'm going to keep you waiting just a little bit and focus on the other parts of the build for now. So at this point it was finally starting to look like a house. The floors were in, the stud walls and ceilings were in place, I was plasterboarding and insulating all the walls and making good progress. The plumbers and the electricians came in and did all their first fix work. Holy John came out and drilled a new hole for me for the new drain for the downstairs bathroom and the job was always being closely monitored by passers-by and locals. The months were passing by and it felt like it was never ending but there was always something to do, there was always a little job somewhere. So at this point I had a bit of a problem. My van had decided to die on a roundabout um, and I had to buy a new one. So what I did was I spent the, the plastering money on a new van, which left me with no choice but to do the plastering myself. Uh, now, this was a bit of a risk because I'd never plastered before and it was a lot of plastering. <laughs> So next up was the kitchen. I was relieved to have all the plastering done and finally get to do some woodwork. So I was quite happy at this point.
So last but not least is the shop area. So the shop is going to be for my new business, which is a record label and an artist residency. So we're nearly at the end of the video now and uh, yeah, there, there's so much that I could have filmed but I was that busy just trying to get the work done and with it being spread out over such a long time, uh, it's a bit of a jumbled up video I know but I'm just going to show you the uh, show you the before and after shots now and uh, yeah, thanks very much.
Right, that's the end of this video. So thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your friends and family. Um, that's it for now. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.